A key ally of former Mesa County Clerk Tina Peters is threatening violence against law enforcement in Colorado just as Peters goes on trial this week for breaching a voting system. Former Overstock CEO Patrick Byrne has said that he put a million dollars into Peters' defense. The former Republican clerk admits to sneaking somebody into her office's voting system as they unsuccessfully looked for evidence of election rigging. Her felony trial for that begins this week. Peters is aligned with a bunch of far-right figures who have talked openly of political violence. Here's what Burns said on a public social media chat Thursday about the law enforcement bringing this case in Colorado. They should be throwing in the towel and just surrendering and dropping this case against Tina because those who don't are going to end up facing a piano wire and a blowtorch before this is over. But I have anything to do with it. So I know that's probably another felony, but it, uh, threatening them like that. But there we are. The Grand Junction Sentinel reports that the judge in Peters' case will not allow her defense team to tell jurors that elections are rigged by Denver-based Dominion voting systems. That conspiracy theory started with Coloradans and was echoed clear up to Donald Trump at one point. Peters' ally, Byrne, is now claiming that he recently hacked the Venezuelan government and it is Venezuela that is in election rigging cahoots with Dominion. This is all Venezuelan junk. All this software is Venezuelan junk. It's just masked to be to look like it's a company in Denver. It's not a company in Denver. Peters has become a star and a martyr on the far right fringe. Her case has repeatedly been delayed as she has fired teams of her own lawyers and unsuccessfully tried to have the case thrown out. She claims that she's a target of political retribution.